I am Gregory, and this is Pensane. On the table, we have a Monteverde pen, of course. <laughs> you know I love my Monteverdes, but this one is a little bit different. First of all, you'll notice the box is very different. And you can see here is the Monteverde Paquito ink ball in stone gray. Ink ball, hmm, what could that possibly mean? Well, let's find out. Let's take a look at this pen. And I I had to laugh a little bit when I when I first took the the pen out. Um, I yes, I did the sneak peek, but anyway, I had to laugh because <laughs> because you have this box here that you know makes you think it's a, a regular size pen, but it does have to fit its its name right, Paquito. So, <laughs> oh, look at this pen! Oh my goodness. It is so, so tiny. Uh, just for a comparison, this is my uh, Uni Jetstream 4 plus 1. And this is the Paquito. <laughs> yes. Oh, this thing is so cute. So cute. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. So... First of all, it's a metal pen, so it actually has a little weight to it. It's very, very small. Very small. I have small hands. So, um, yeah. And it does have a, a pull cap. And there you see the, the tip. Now, we're still wondering, what, why is this called an ink ball? Well, what could this mean? This version of the Paquito uses fountain pen ink. Now, it came with black, which is all well and good. But look at the color of the pen. It's gunmetal, or stone gray, I guess they call it. Which makes me think of one of my favorite inks. Kaveco Smoky Gray. I have a couple left. I love this fountain pen ink. Oh yeah, that fits. Let's put this back on. Oh, that's a very, very satisfying click. And you really feel, we can't really see too well in there, but you really feel like it's, it's like airtight in there. You get that sensation. Yeah, that's a nice little, nice little snap. All right, so we want to see this right, right? <laughs> All right, and uh, you can post it. It feels a little weird. It's probably actually recommended that you post it, just because when you post it, it becomes closer to normal size, whereas... If you don't, it's pretty darn small. So, and of course, you know, sometimes it's handy having small hands. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is writing already. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay. Excellent. So this is... And the 
ink nice oh that's cool that is cool one thing i like about this ink is it it kind of looks like pencil <laughs> and especially coming out of this it looks like pencil <laughs> let's uh check for wetness here wow yeah that's that's super dry super super dry all right and let's just do a little uh, quick writing sample here Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, let's see how it just keeps up with just very fast uh, this scribble. Nice. Wow. I am impressed. I am very impressed, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that is very cool. Now, a couple of things worth noting. Okay, it, it's obviously, it's a small pen. Uh, this is this is gonna be for, you know, jotting down quick notes, maybe a to-do list or something, but this is not gonna be for long writing sessions. And just in this little bit that I wrote, I will say it's it's not it's not a very comfortable grip. <laughs> you have this tiny little section. Um, this I'm not even gonna call it a flare. It's actually it's actually more like a step there. It's actually a, a little I don't want to call it sharp. Um, for lack of a better word, I'll say abrasive. <laughs> you definitely feel it. And as I was writing, my, my grip was sliding down, probably because of this section, which is very, very slick. Um, and then on the other end of things, you have another, you have a couple more steps right there. So, yeah. But you know what? For just <laughs> for just writing short notes, um, yeah, this would be perfectly fine. And the fact that you can use, you know, I wouldn't put like a shimmer ink in here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I mean, that's guaranteed to clog it. Um, but with normal inks, I I think you'd be okay. So. Uh, <laughs> Also, I do feel with it capped, that's actually pretty sharp, I must say. Yeah, it's not the most comfortable pen. Um, the sharp part right here rests, at least when I'm holding it, rests right there. And I can, I can feel it as I'm writing. Um, let's see. Wow, I'm extremely impressed, extremely impressed. Now I will say, I believe, in fact, this I'm, I'm pretty sure of, um, because I have recently been on the Monteverde uh, website, I know, surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, they do have this technology, the ink ball, they call it, um, in newer models of pens. So if you like the idea of this, and you know, they're not the only company that does this. A lot of companies do this now. Um, but you know, me being the the fanboy of Monteverde, 
I was excited about this pen in particular. So I, I had to try it and uh, yeah. One nice thing about this being an ink ball rather than a fountain pen, you know, I'm, I'm here talking and waving the pen around and it's just gonna start writing again. So that's pretty awesome because if you think about it, it's, it's semi-sealed because you know, there's a ball right there. So, wow, I love this. I love this for what it is. I love this. Yeah, so you can still find these on the secondary market, new old stock. Just a quick look at the Monteverde Paquito ink ball with Caveco Smoky Gray ink. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.